Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make explanatory educational and promotional videos like this. These are called whiteboard animation videos. I'm going to use Mango Animate whiteboard animation software to make this. Don't worry about the topic 5 gig video. Just focus on how I'm making this video. You can download Mango Animate Whiteboard Animation Maker from www.mangoanimate.com. My computer is a 64 bit computer, so I clicked on 64 bit. Then follow my steps. This is our free whiteboard animation software. There are several templates you can use for your projects. Let's click on one template and see how it looks like. Here you can see a beautiful animated video. You can add your own details and replace the details in this video. Today I am going to show you how to create a video like this. Here there is two ratios so I am going to use normal YouTube video ratio. As you can see here they have already given a background uh, color, a background image. If you want it, you can keep it, but I don't want it, so I'm going to delete it. Now we have a white background and I'm going to add shapes. There are a lot of shapes, but I want a rectangular frame. So select it and draw it. Now here you can see, we can format this shape. There are four sides and we can change opacity, the border color, border size and border opacity also they have given a default animation effect click for now I'm going to keep it like that in the action bar we can see our animation like this now I copy it and paste it so now there are two shapes with two animations here you can't see two shapes because they are overlapping you can drag these two elements to move forward. Now I'm going to change the second shape's color. Now you can see how it changes with the animation. Actually, I don't need an animation for my first shape. Click on that effect on action bar to select it and then change the animation like this. You can select no hand action and select none. On your right hand side you can see a button named as plus action line. You can add a new action line by clicking it. Multiple animation lines allow you to make different animations in same time. You can see the time bar up there. So now I'm going to add a text inside this box. Now you are in the shapes tab. Now you can select text tab. Click on the add text and type what you want. Delete add text and then you can select a font style. Now you can type the text in the text box. Also you can delete it like this. Now it says hi and then you can again add your text to that text box. Like shapes you can format the text also. Text size, text color, bold, italic, underline. I hope you have seen these kind of formatting tools in Word and PowerPoint. Now I'm going to change the animation of second rectangular frame. I'm going to give fade in entrance effect. Then click confirm. 
make sure that you have selected the correct element in the action line you can always change the position and change the size and I'm giving click animation to our text hi there I don't want to keep my first rectangular frame that much longer in my animation so I reduce its duration like this it is better if the text appear early so I simply drag it like this by clicking the plus mark after the elements in the action line you can add an exit effect like this to your elements so I will reduce the clear effect or exit effect duration like this and I'm going to make next main animation click here to add a background to that slide click plus background button to add a background color or background image to that slide if you like you can add background transition effects too so now I want a shape and I'm going to add a rectangle for that now I want to add an image and I click add local image on image tab then you can select any image from your folders if you don't like that image you can delete it and again click add local image and select your image here I'm changing the color and the border of the rectangle according to my image I want others to see that this is a picture and I'm going to remove the background so I click plus button next to the rectangular element and give erase as an exit effect. I don't want an animation for my picture so I'm going to remove it like this. Now I'm adding these two elements near the background element. Simply drag them. Now I'm going to add my text I will remove the background of your photo now you know how to do it go to text tab and add text you can resize and edit it and you can change the position of it and add an animation for it also you can drag it across the action lines then it will appear with another animation occurring at the same time. Now I'm going to add a snap to my picture. To do that, I must get the plus mark after my picture. But now the plus mark is after the entrance effect of my text. So I drag the entrance effect of my text to another action line. Then I can expose the plus button next to the entrance effect of my picture. Now click the plus button and add decoration effect. Select snap and click confirm. Now you can change the order of the effects. Drag them to the time where you need them to appear. Now I'm going to start the next main animation. Here I don't add exit effects for the picture and for the text I'm going to overlap them by adding shapes now you know how to add shapes I need two rectangles then click on a triangle and give animations like this I want to overlap their animations so I put the animation of white rectangle to the lower action line I'm going to drag them forward in the timeline now it's time to add text if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get our new videos as notifications I'm going to add a dotted rectangular shape to create a checkbox I bring those three checkboxes forward in the timeline near their corresponding text boxes I don't want any animations for them so I'm going to remove their animations. Go to no hand action and give none. Now I'm going to add an image of right mark to this video. 
You know how to do that? Go to image tab and click at local image. This is a vector file I downloaded from Pixabay. You can reduce its size and place it on the checkbox. Now you can place their positions in the action line according to the timeline. Set them after their checkbox. I'm not going to change the animations of the text boxes. I think the default animation slide left is good. Now it's time to move to the next main animation. For that, I'm going to use the most significant option in this software. Most of the animations that I have done in this video are also in Microsoft PowerPoint. But this camera option is not there. Click somewhere else in the background and drag it up or to any direction. Now click the camera icon. Now click plus background button to add a new background. Now you know the key features of Mango Whiteboard Animation software. So I'm not going again to tell you how I made the last slide, adding text, adding shapes and change their colors and font styles. You can make promotional videos, you can make educational videos and academic videos using this software. If you don't know what is a Fiverr Geek video, let me explain. Fiverr is a freelancing website where you can become a seller. You can tell others what you can do using a gig. It is like a poster. As an example, I will remove background of the images. For that gig, you need to add a gig video explaining your work. We can also add a music to the video. Click plus button on sound line and select your audio. If you want to edit or trim the audio, you can double click on the audio element or layer and go to your trimming. You can see a preview what you have made by clicking this icon. Click here to save the project. Click here to publish your video. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe us and hit the bell icon near it. There are a lot of animation and video editing tutorials in my channel. Don't forget to watch them. So let's meet again from another video.